I'm sure my take on multivitamins is different than your take on multivitamins, but I usually recommend if people have not a lot of variety in their diet that maybe they consider a multivitamin um, to fill in the gaps. But what would you say? Well, uh, it's not what I say. It's what science says. All right. And science, science. says uh, that if you take a multivitamin, you will not live any longer. I say, say what? I said, if you take a multivitamin, you will not live any longer. So the basic premise is saying, I'm going to fill in the gaps in terms of, of decreasing mortality just doesn't you know hold together. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because metabolism is the key, not a vitamin. Metabolism is a lot more complex. And if the taking the vitamin makes you feel better, that's going to reduce stress. And that's great. And that will be a benefit. But the fact is the vitamins by themselves are not magic bullets. Right. They are basically only parts of, you know, a much larger uh, complex of, you know, metabolic reactions taking place in every one of your 30 trillion cells every second of the day. And that's what you really want to focus on. Okay. So the multivitamin is really not going to do anything in terms of your mortality, but if it makes you feel better for your diet falling short in certain areas, it's all right. There's no detriment to taking there, there, it. It's just no not going to promote your health. But there's no benefit, at least relative to mortality. But what about some of the other vitamins we hear about, like vitamin D? Like where does that fit or, or magnesium? Where do you place that in terms of, you know, something that you should be getting in the diet or that people might be deficient in? Well, uh, again, this is why the, the vitamins, basically, they reduce your stress levels because they say, I'm taking enough. Well, you don't mm -hmm. know. You don't know unless you test your blood. Now, when's the last time you tested your blood for magnesium? Yeah, no. <laughs> or, or, or vitamin D. <laughs> it's been a few or, years. Or vitamin B2. <laughs> So right, you don't right. know. So again, you know, vitamins, again, we would want to apply the same type of rigor in vitamin mm -hmm. studies as we would do in drug studies. It's saying if I'm taking a drug, do I see how much of the drug gets rise to a effect on terms of disease treatment? So again, without basically doing blood studies on the vitamins, we're just playing, you know, playing guessing or saying, I don't know, and say, take, take, take one, take two. Uh, but the fact is, we don't know. Now, it could be true uh, that at higher levels of vitamins, especially vitamin D, uh, <clears throat> usually a deficiency level is about maybe uh, 20 nanograms per deciliter. Now, most people are pretty deficient, but what's the optimal level where you actually see some benefits? It seems to be closer to about you know uh, 80, about four times wow. the amount. That's a lot of vitamin D we're taking, mm -hmm. but that's still a guess because we don't have any good long-term studies. So again, uh, let's go back to the basics. If you want a balanced diet, here's how you get a balanced diet. Eat lots of non-starchy vegetables. Say, that sounds like grandma. Say, exactly. Because right. those who get the greatest amount of nutrients mm -hmm. for the least number of calories. Second thing, get adequate protein. Well, I ate a 16-ounce a, a, a steak. No, that's excess protein. Adequate protein is the amount you can find, put on the palm of your hand, but do it at every meal. And finally, add a dash of healthy fat. What's a dash of healthy fat? Monounsaturated fat. And the best healthy monounsaturated fat? Extra virgin olive oil. And why? It contains polyphenols. So uh, you're going back to the basics saying, if you do that, there's no need for a multivitamin. You still might need a need for omega-3 fatty acids. Think about that. If there's any supplement that people really should have, in my opinion, it is omega-3 fatty acids. But basically, listen to what your grandmother told you, you know, two generations ago. You can't leave the table until you eat all your vegetables. All right. So it's not going to make up for a poor diet. You got to go back to those fruits and vegetables. Well, you just go back <laughs> to the basics. And uh, as, I, want, I want something easy. Say, well, it takes a little discipline, but if you basically have the discipline, you're going to get the payoff in a longer and better life.